What's happening YouTube, your boy Tech Tricks is back in another video and today we're looking at the Moki MAMX2. Here we go. First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below, hit the notification bell as well so you can be notified when the videos come with tips and tricks and unboxing just like this one. Check out much below at say. Hit that like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. Without further ado, let's go ahead and show you this portable ultra low noise 6 channel line stereo mixer. Here we go. So today we're going to unbox this and show you what it could do. Basically, it's a very small uh, mixer that you can use if you have a small band or maybe if you have different inputs and you want to add inputs on um, any speaker or any inputs you have you can use this at home as well for uh, home home theater or something like that so let's go ahead and show you what it could do so here we go very simple device today uh, not too bad actually but it's um, it's very good because um, there's times that we don't want to bring a, a real bulky mixer with us and we just need a six channel yes right there six channel mixer basically it's a little amplifier thing that you can use you could plug in your guitar on here a few mics maybe a couple more uh, instruments like a bass or maybe even a keyboard you'll be able to use that with this so there you go very nice device there as you guys can see on top six channels Very nice. Now there's only one output on this, so just be, keep that in mind. There are also uh, knobs for each one, like this. It doesn't have any uh, levels for, this only has a level for the inputs and also the output. So it's just the volume that you have here. There's no mixers, like there's no bass or anything like that. Just very simple device, like I said very good there's also a mono and or stereo inputs right here which is very nice here as well it comes with the power adapter nice and long so you would just plug this in up here like so and then you just plug this in to an adapter and you'd be good to go now for example your main mixer is way out the back of the auditorium or something like that and you want you want a device to control a bunch of inputs in front where on the, on the stage where you'll be able to control it right there and then then you'll be and then this one is very useful for that as well now here we have the acoustic guitar connected to the Moki MAMX2 there you go and also the mic as well that is now connected to our Comica which is the uh, CVM AX3 and then now that is connected to our uh, Panasonic G9 so there you go hooked up right there in the back this one's uh, unhooked right now. There you go. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keep. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. I don't know if my mic's picking up anything, but um, we're gonna bump it up right there. Then we're gonna make it closer to our base. 
We meet a miracle word, promise keep light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. So what do you guys think of that? Um, basically, yeah, that's how you could use this. Um, I have this hooked up to our Panasonic G9 straight. I don't have any speakers or anything like that. So um, let me know in the comments below if that's any good or not. And that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope I was able to help you on your choice on a six-channel mixer by Moki MA MX2. If you want to get one of these, I'll link this down below and go ahead and check that out. If you uh, want to tell me more of uh, more music stuff, uh, more music instruments, or maybe more equipment for your uh, for your channel or for uh, for your band? Uh, let me know in the comments below, and uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button below and stay tuned. I'll uh, see you guys next time. Peace.